Welcome back to Talk To Me with the coach, Mike, we made. As we're on the road, bring you behind the scene Major League coverage, and we ran across the man for the Toronto Blue Jays, Jose Batista. How are we doing? Good, good. Thanks for having me. Uh, enjoying my time here in Chicago as usual. Okay. We're taking those young aspiring high school, college baseball players behind the scenes on what it's like being a Major League ball player. Uh, Jose Batista. You tying the league up the last couple of years with these home runs, 15 home runs this year. I mean, what, what, what's the tallest power you got? Um, I mean, I, I guess I could say I've always had a lot of bad speed since I was uh, growing up, and uh, power potential has always been there uh, from what I heard from my coaches and, and people that scouted me in the past. So uh, I finally came to a place where they uh, gave me the opportunity to play every day without having to worry about the results. They just gave me the chance to go out there and try to uh, worry about playing baseball and not concentrate on getting hits. At the same time, they helped me perfect my swing. They uh, got me to load and start uh, my, my loading mechanism earlier, which has allowed me to stay in a better, uh, strong position to hit, see the ball better, and when I do attack it, uh, make solid contact more often, and that's where you see the, the best results. Well, you know, you got a lot of major league pitchers that you give a nightmares to right now. <laughs> well, I, I do have some pitchers that give me nightmares, so I guess it evens out at the end of the day. But I'm uh, happy to have the opportunity. I'm excited to keep playing uh, good baseball, and hopefully we can win more games and uh, be in the playoffs soon. Uh, you know, we just concluded the major league draft yesterday. What was the role like for Batista to get into the big leagues? Oh, it was long. Uh, it was long. I, I Coming out of high school in the Dominican Republic, I tried to sign a free agent deal. Uh, that's the way that usually uh, kids go about becoming professional baseball players uh, in the Dominican Republic where I'm from. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out for me, so I took up a college scholarship in uh, Florida. I went to junior college, got drafted my first year. I didn't sign. Uh, back then, they had the draft and follow process, which is uh, doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So I went back for my sophomore year, and after my sophomore year, before the next draft, uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates, who, who had drafted me the year before, mm -hmm. offered me a, a good contract, and uh, I took their uh, their offer instead of going to, to school uh, at South Carolina, which which I was supposed to, uh, where I was supposed to continue my education at. Uh, you know, you mentioned Pittsburgh Pirates, and now you scout for the Pirates. That's one of the teams they scout for. Yeah, uh, Scott Jack Powell, I remember him. I always keep up with him. He's uh, one of my good friends. Uh, he's the one that uh, scouted me for the two years that I was in college, and we've become uh, really good friends. So I can let TV land know that me and Coach and Batista got something in common. <laughs> that's right. Uh, coming from the same organization, that's uh, something that uh, you can definitely say. And as you made your process through the uh, minor leagues, through the big leagues, I mean, um, what type of transition was that for you? It was different. Uh, I had a bunch of transitions that back-to-back, -back, uh, year after year, uh, helped me out, obviously become the, the person and the, the player I am today. Coming from Dominican to college was an adjustment. Uh, going from college to professional ball in the minor leagues was an adjustment. And I actually got to the big leagues quick. Uh, after my third year in minor league baseball, I got Rule 5 from the Pirates to the Orioles, and I was traded a couple times in 2004, but I stayed in the big leagues the whole year. Then I had to go back to the minor leagues, so it was adjustment after adjustment. But uh, all that, I took it as a learning process and uh, helped me get all the information that I needed and all the coaching that I needed. So when the opportunity that I got, which was here in Toronto, arrived, I was ready to go. You know, I've always told youngsters that the key to making it on the next level was being able to hit there, find some place for you to play. But like Batista mastered that. That's right. You got to hit. Uh, uh, baseball is an offensive game and it's offensive uh, driven. Uh, you, if you uh, can't really hit, you you better be a pitcher. So um, you got to find a, a a way to figure out your hitting mechanics and uh, become productive and successful. And I'm glad it worked out for me. Let's take you back to when you got that call up to the big leagues. You walked in and saw your uniform hanging up in that locker room. What was that experience like? Oh, man, I'll tell you what, that's uh, an unbelievable feeling of uh, accomplishment and, and feeling proud about yourself that I'll never forget. And uh, it's a lot of honor that goes with it. So uh, it's one of those things that you just seem to remember. And uh, you remember the little things, you know, like you said, the uniform hanging up, the guys whose lockers were next to you. Uh, the opening day ceremonies, the national anthems, the introductions. That's a great day uh, in my life, and uh, I'm very proud that uh, I got to enjoy that when I was really young. So uh, I'll never forget that. First big league hit off of? 
Uh, my first big league hit was off of Ramiro Mendoza for the Boston Red Sox, a Panamanian right-hander, reliever. Uh, he was actually in one of his best years of his career. First pitch he ever threw me um, right at my knees, made me jump out of the way. He was smiling at me, kind of like, welcome to the big leagues, kid. And then the next pitch, uh, he threw me a fastball away, and I managed to get a ground ball to go in between first and second. So uh, it was uh, uh, definitely a, a nice one to have, especially my first at bat ever. First home run? First home run was uh, a couple of years after, uh, after that. Uh, since my first year, I didn't play much. I only got 100 at bats. I wasn't 80 at bats. I wasn't able to get my first home run then. But it was off of Scott Olson uh, in 2006. Um, he used to pitch for the Marlins, and I was playing for the Pirates again. See, youngsters, those big leaguers don't forget the first hits, first home runs. Coach, take you behind the scene with the man, Jose Batista. All right, appreciate All right, it. No problem. Thanks you for take care of my guy, Omar, over there, too. Always. No, he needs to take care of me. Take care of my guy, Omar. <laughs>